<laughs> and everyone's dead. Not really. Welcome back, everyone. Um, so, Amiris arrived after spending a little bit of time, you know, reuniting with Harriet. Reuniting. Sits down with everybody. <laughs> I thought that exact same thing. Uh, sits, sits down with everybody and uh, essentially kind of goes over the same idea for their for their current plan. We're going to fuck them up. Uh, but essentially he kind of he's, he says you know this is our uh, last kind of a last resort sort of plan we're gonna we're not gonna utilize like we're not gonna do this until you all come back from the meeting with the Cult of Madness. Okay. With any sort of updated or new plans or ideas that you might have. Uh, this is, hang on, this is just an idea that we have. It should work uh. fairly well, but it's it has its own set of dangers behind it. So we will wait until you return. We uh, appreciate that. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. The Hinge of the Ancients is another couple hours walk that way, essentially. He kind of points you in the right direction. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I would like for some time to speak with Harriet alone. So, uh, and, and she's absolutely down with that, so she's going to stay behind mm -hmm. while you all go <clears throat> scope out. Scope things out. Oh, let's go scope the things. Uh, if you want, <clears throat> he does motion to the pile of uh, uh, Cult of Madness robes. We have some going. <clears throat> I don't no, I think if we're meeting with them... Um, no, we had an option to take some really bloody, messed up ones, but we didn't. Yeah, because they were... Yeah, because they, they were, were bloody and messed up. They were stabbed. Up. Yeah. Uh, we have, hey, guys. We, are you yeah. okay? Yeah. <laughs> we have unmarred Cult of Madness robes, if you wish. I say we should take some. Them. Absolutely, we should all don them. Yeah. Uh, and full, there are varying sizes, so you can actually get find one that's your size. Do you have one that can expand? And this one smells like no. Yes. No. So um, I'm gonna go to the end tall. You gonna go in big? Okay. So there, there are sized uh, for large creatures. So you can absolutely get one that, that fits. It might be a little short. Leg wise. Uh, leg wise, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the rose. And a little tiny one for me. Yeah. Are there a lot of birds in the Cult of Madness? Avians? Yeah. Uh, or, or the, the Toth? Um, you don't really know. You've, you've encountered very few like official members of the Cult of Madness. Um, it's possible. It's very possible that, that, what, that that's the case. Uh, what's the avian and Toth population like across your world? Is it... Uh, pretty there are sparse. far fewer Toth. I know there's than there are aliens. Yeah, for sure. And Toth, you don't see often outside of like college settings. Right. Um, they're very. They don't venture very often. No. You have to. There's. You have to have a very specific reason. Yeah. Well, and that's why I kind of made my backstory used to life of decadence and luxury because. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is Me not too. a pleasant experience <laughs> no. for, for four of us. Uh, just as a result of being... no, nope, but he's trying to prove his faith. Yes, <laughs> I'm just trying to find the do the poison thing. So you robe up and you make your way further into the forest. <sighs> and what color are these robes? Uh, they're white robes. Oh. And on the front you have to be of them, dirt all over. emblazoned on the front is the symbol of the Cult of Madness, which is the swirl, swirling line 
that moves inward to the uh, the eye, sort of centralized eye. Okay. The Hinge of the Ancients has a clearing, or is is basically a, an enormous clearing. It's about 300 feet across, uh, with massive stones standing tall around it, each one at least 20 foot in diameter. They're not always exactly round, per se, but approximately. Um, about half of them, additionally, have huge stones across the standing ones. A slab of stone, 50 feet across and 10 feet high, serves as the dais upon which stand the leadership of the Cult of Madness. Domakos, who you recognize, yep. uh, Stands to the side of a woman, a tall woman, wearing dark full plate mail. Purple skin can be seen behind her horned helm. The open space of the clearing is fairly crowded with adventurers of all different races, classes, and otherwise. The crowd seems to be excited to hear from the woman on the dais. And silence falls over the crowd when she raises when she raises her hands. And this isn't like immediately when you step in. You kind of step in, maybe mingle a little bit, uh, maybe 10, 20 minutes later is, is when this sort of hush goes across the crowd. <clears throat> she begins to pace. She begins to pace as she speaks. Her voice. Huh? I'm, no, uh, her voice magically amplified. Most of you do not remember a time before the guild. It has been so long, in fact, that many of the elves themselves can hardly remember a time before the guild. We were taught in school that the guild maintains order. That the guild makes people happy with steady work, pay, etc. That the guild feeds you, clothes you. That is a lie. The guild uses its resources to control you and labels it order. All of its rules, all of its rules <laughs> makes you a slave, a dependent who can't function outside of the guild. The jobs you do for the guild are heavily taxed before you even see any of the money. You are underpaid and overworked because the guild knows it is difficult to find work outside. I am as it worked. Mm-hmm. It is me. <laughs> we seek only change for the good of all who join us. Fair Not pay. So far. Fair pay, freedom to quest as you wish, peace across the realm. We have been diligently fighting against all creatures that harass and kill the peoples of the realm. You are here because you are of the same mind, that you wish for those unable to defend themselves to live in peace peace that is not possible with the guild. You always have work fighting in the guild because the guild does not fully stop the monsters who threaten it to keep you in line. This we will not stand. We will fight till all monsters are dead and our time is truly free. That doesn't sound so bad. Right? Yeah, why are we fighting these guys? A cheer runs through the crowd and you can join them. That's an option. I feel like the, <laughs> like, ah! like I mean, the guild's been filling our head with propaganda. Yeah. And, <laughs> times maybe, are maybe the guild's wrong. <laughs> They're the bad guys. <laughs> They're the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, like, like a cheer runs through the crowd, essentially. <laughs> times are changing and soon a new power will arrive. A mm. power that will change the world for the better. For the better. More cheers. <sighs> Do we really need the new power, though? Yeah, Can't no, we no. just do this ourselves? Now we're getting into the culty shit. Yeah, now, we're, now, we're getting, <laughs> now we're going off the deep end. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> they had me at the first time. Yeah. Like a <laughs> <laughs> Our name, which is an old one, Cult of Madness, was associated with a group that... in the past was largely destroyed because our ideals were opposing that the guild. The chaos. <laughs> the chaos does it. it. 
we seek only peace, the betterment of the world, and stopping the guild. The cheers still happen at that point, but they're a little subdued, because that's a scary thing. Uh, very scary thing. I mean, I'm cool with that part. I just don't know about this new power coming in. I got questions. I got questions for this lady. Yeah. She said, we know you all have questions. Hey. hey. <laughs> She's talking about you. All right. All right. Maybe they do have that best interest in mind. Her voice is, is very uh, strong and charismatic. We hope in time to answer all of them. If you wish to join us and stop being a slave to the guild, you may uh, speak with Damakos here, sign up. But I'm wearing guild the the cult of madness robes. You are. So I'm already in the cult of madness. There actually are like throughout the crowd, kind of a smattering of others that are also wearing the, the robes, okay. the, the the cult of madness robes. <clears throat> Any questions you also may have may be directed at Domicos. So, a uh, quick DM question. Yes. What was the physical interaction with Domicos previously, or is he, it none he, of us actually... He killed King's dad. That was, that was Domicos there, and then... Domicos also has ties to Crowley. Yeah. And he would probably recognize most of us. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes, he will. <clears throat> and we got a mask in the skies. Yeah. Um, well... <clears throat> Upon me recognizing Domico's, I'm going to do my best to disappear behind someone and turn myself into a uh, halfling. Same, exact same thing, just yeah. halfling of me. Mm. Like, That's still plate cool. armor, I have a Pretty spear cool. and <laughs> yeah. uh, cool. shield. Yeah, I have a mask of many faces, so I'm just going to turn into a halfling real quick. Mm-hmm. Behind someone, like, I'm literally the same height, probably same plump body, a very round body for a halfling. Gotcha. Well, man, yeah. That's... I want to talk to Domicos. I mean, it doesn't matter if he knows me or not. I want to join the cult of madness. Yeah, no, you 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 are going from a place of honesty. I won't be. So I, I don't want to be right <laughs> This generally sounds good to me. When, uh, sort of as as like a final thing, she says, "When you join, if you join, and you're free to not join if you wish. Uh, you will be given a task, and one of our." Amulets. Cool. Yes. Uh, I'm joining the call. <laughs> <laughs> so what? We've been here for what? Ten minutes? <laughs> yeah. That easy. I mean, they made some compelling points. They're like, fuck the guild. And Bob's like, all right. I mean, I was already <laughs> against Wait, the you kill me if I don't do this? All right. <laughs> well, they said we don't have to join. They said we just leave. All right, so, yeah. Uh, you know, this was just kind of a fact finding you know anybody that wants to join can you see that quite a few of, of the adventurers within the area are beginning to line up to join it's a little bit more than half that are there um, some of them are still like eh, I don't know about all that business and some of them have just left and they're heading back to whatever they were doing before are we the bad guys <laughs> Now I'm all confused. I don't know if, it's, if the Adventurers Guild is bad or the yeah. Cult of Madness is bad. What they so us? one's called the Adventurers Guild and the other one's called the yeah, Cult the... of Madness. <laughs> 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 so they sort of adapted the name from an old cult that was pretty bad for its time. And that was actually kind of addressed. Can I do an insight check to see if like th- that lady was like straight up lying? You can. Yeah, I'll do that. If you'd like. Anybody can. Oh, yeah. Were we all there? Yeah. Hold on. I got an 11. Yeah, I'll do it as well. 
Insight. Insight. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh, Rolled nineteen. I got a plus seven. Dang, dude. I'm not even training on this Fourteen. With a twenty-six, that's really good. You can by the read way. that person. Um. You can tell that. That she is. Full of shit. Pretty well laying it on thick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Just trying to get people to join. But. Using her charisma. There is also very strong conviction. Like, there's a lot of truth in it. In her, like, she does want to be rid of the guild. Yeah. And yeah. she wants to do it. There's truth to it. There's truth to it as far as her wanting to be rid of the guild. But, but you can tell there's some things. The, the way she said it to us is not yeah. as. Patriotic, we'll say. You can tell that the way that it's being spun here is disparate from what their actual goal is. Um, which you know what their goal is from the response of the Sphinx. Yeah. You also know that their leadership is big scary monster they're like big leaders no i would have explained all that to everyone yeah. for sure the, this is a demon of the abyss he's chaotic and crazy fuck and uh, i'll have to touch up on that it, it it wasn't specified what shogoth is the only thing that was stated was that it is shogoth the, the devourer and that the sphinx the guy of sphinx is scared of it yeah which is a big deal yeah. But we know that the Cult of Madness is trying to summon Kalak. You do, yeah. And that's not good. I need the to write Cult a pro- of I Madness. Need write, I need to write a pros and cons list here. They're trying to return <laughs> the old god of chaos what? back to his well, drop the guild seat and then drop power. Mm-hmm. Why was he removed from it? To be independent. Fill, fill, fill that vacuum. Yeah. yeah. Let's just that take care of That is a big question. question. Let's just hold yeah. <laughs> So we can use the cult of madness to our end. Kalak yeah. was <laughs> All right. no, uh, I think. and Plank <laughs> probably wouldn't do this, uh, but just kind of so you guys know. So Kalak was sealed away the cult. because we he orchestrated yeah. Yeah. We take their place. a war and then among the, cult the gods. It's a great idea. Mm-hmm. And several of the gods were actually killed. Can do what she was saying, just not the part where the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Evil God. So I'm like on, that <laughs> on Pygarin you have that that a demon rift, the, like sort of big gaping hole in the in the world that was caused by one of the gods. The claws of the gods on Ch- Chagals, which is close to where the beholder thing is, uh, was also made by the gods when they were fighting on Artong. Like it was a bad time for now, everyone. Does the veil cover all of the planes or just the material plane? The veil... Like, if we were to go to a different plane and do what the Cult of Madness is trying to do and weaken the veil, does that work on the other planes or is it just question. the material plane? So the veil is uh, sort of pervasive throughout <clears throat> the realm. Okay. It is... Everywhere? Everywhere. Okay, so plan B... We take over the Cult of Madness. Yep. <laughs> we send all of the bad creatures to a different plane. Right, right. right. And it's their problem. You know, yeah. they <laughs> <laughs> and then we rule the world. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We don't summon the You've got to the pinky out and go, <laughs> <laughs> No, we're doing good things. We're, we're good One people. One beauty and draw <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I want to go join the cult. All right. Ask Dabaka some questions. Because I do genuinely want to join the group. Yeah, is there a hierarchy? I'm not deceiving right is, is, is there, what, what are they called out of jobs when they're hiring? Room for growth? Oh, yeah, is there, is, there, is, there, is there room for growth? <laughs> are there opportunities like, for, for opportunities advancement? For, yeah, yeah, there we go. Advancement. Uh, for management? Yeah. yeah. For management? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, you, so, so you get in line. Yep. Already wearing the robes. Yeah. Which is handy for them. Same old, we want your officers. Yeah. 
I went to, I went to college for this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an officer. Uh, you're in line, because there's a lot of people. You're in line for a good hour before you get anywhere close to being up there. I'm not going to be next to you. Start killing line. people. Just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, they don't yeah. know who we are. <laughs> just killing, just killing your fellow adventurers. Ha <laughs> 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 Sounds That's, like we're going to have to anyway. This, this, this is the line to join them, right? Yeah, we're joining the call. <clears throat> it's settled. We're in the call. <laughs> we're now tied to the game. We're not <laughs> drinking any blood or piss water or anything like that, though. When you uh, so Corvus, <laughs> you said that you're. Are you like a couple people back? I, it, if he's gonna get into this line, I'm gonna keep out of the way. There, are, there's, there's technically more than one line. Like yeah. Is... So I'm not gonna get in any one line to talk to anyone like this. I'm gonna kind of survey the crowd, keep yeah. a watch, listen, maybe occasionally for a few seconds if there's someone that piques my interest, flutter professor closer to listen through him while okay. just kind of standing there kind of looking yeah. up uh, there's a lot of familiars about too because there's yeah I, I imagine it's not the only familiar but just yeah. kind of listening there's to the crowd for anything that I think would be useful um, okay and uh, most of the chatter I'll give you this yeah most of the chatter around like in the lines, yeah, is is positive. Like, yeah, and know, I'm not getting too close like, to the leaders. This is good, this is a good idea. This is something that <clears throat> we we should do. Um, and largely, there there's some talk of people who are like against the guild, but a lot of the talk is more about you know bringing peace. To the realms, yeah. Uh, they really are into that idea, yeah. And but there, there is some, you know, anti guild dissension happening, yeah. But yeah. it's it's not as prevalent as you would have thought it would be, yeah. Given the quantity of people that are in line, that and a lot of them are just like, ooh, more pay for the same job. Oh. Sign me up, yeah. Definitely. That's kind of what Corvus was trying to fit under the guise of, but uh, it's definitely largely mercenary, uh, the super mercenary types, and those who honestly want to bring you know the peace because the the concept that the guild is purposefully leaving dangerous beings mm-hmm. around has sort of sunk in to, for several people. And it's not... It, there's truth... Uh, there's a little bit of truth in it, but it's not... It's not that way. Yeah. No, I mean, that's... If, that's... They can, if they can afford to send Penumbra agents at me for stealing something, they can afford to send Penumbra agents to kill the monsters. Take them out. They, yes. Maybe they don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> See? Um... Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. A little flavor thing I read in the book I didn't ever mention before about my character. Uh, a trait is that I have one eye of my patron. Like one of my eyes changed to the eye of my oh. patron. So a little okay. blackbird toth has a black eye. And then is it really big because it's... <laughs> no. It'll, it'll just be a, like a golden glowing white eye. Uh, of course when I'm not disguised. Because right now I'm halfling. I look very normal halfling. Mm. Not like a paladin, gotcha. which I'd normally look like. Yeah. I gotcha. Like, your clothes are the same, though, right? Oh, you know, I have the Cult of Madness robes, like oh, real. real ones, over top of me. Yeah. But uh, I look like a halfling wearing those robes with plate armor underneath. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I'm poison their wand. Yeah. yeah. A snake in their boot. So who is first in line? That would be Quetzal, probably. Okay. I'm on your shoulder. I, yeah. I, I shrunk down, folded my thing, ripped. Put it in the bag. Oh, 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 ripped a piece of cloth off of it, and have like, like 12 inch self wrapped in it. <laughs> just so I fit it. Are you still like? Did you don your 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 squirrel skin ashless chaps? Uh, <laughs> no, they're still rocking. It's just okay. think so, of like think of like McCree's. 
like, thing. Yeah, poncho. It, it's poncho. A, it's like a poncho, okay. but it looks like I'm actually, mildly yeah. familiar with that. Well, I, it, it's I a poncho. Don't. So yeah, I have a poncho of their of, of the cultist color, but still material. Yeah. Passes change. I'm only familiar with McCree because he's voiced by Matthew Mercer. Yeah, not because I actually have ever played Overwatch. <laughs> um. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. You so, join me, Krishna. Quite oh, yeah. so. Yeah, Krishna's, Krishna's with me. Okay. Uh, Domikos so sees mod. you, and his his face. Uh, he doesn't seem taken aback that you're there. Mm-hmm. He doesn't seem concerned, largely because he's surrounded by fellow uh, cult of Vendus folk. Yeah. And uh, by the way, after she gives her speech. The, the woman in the black plate armor uh, sort of steps away from, steps out of view, and you don't see her anymore. The purple skinned lady. Spooky. So, um, yeah. I just know she's full of shit. He says, uh, but she's, t- she's, telling, she's telling more truth than the guild does. <laughs> I rolled a 26. <laughs> she's full of shit. Quetzal and Krishna. I did not expect to see you here and already sporting robes. Yeah. You can see that uh, we like to take initiative um, when, we, when we explore new opportunities. We'll betray our friends. <laughs> <laughs> here we thought you'd be a problem for us. No, uh, I actually agree with a lot of what she says. We were just trying to get closer to you. Can you not lie? Is that like... <laughs> that's, that's technically not a lie. Yeah. Uh, it's just the intentions are not quite the same. Yeah. Uh, he says, how's... Uh, I don't... Where are the rest of you? I don't see Kane anywhere. Uh, we haven't seen Kane in months. Or how, how long has it been since? We've it's seen, probably been, it's about, been about a week. A week. Okay. Week and a half. Maybe. We we uh we lost Kane after after his, his father. Died. His father, he, yeah. He, he's uh, taking care of those loose ends back in the town. Uh, I see. We have a here. And you've come to join. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he kind of directs you. He kind of points over to. Uh, there's like a small tent set up. Reasonably small tent, anyway. Not giant size, giant thing. Says, uh, well, if you'll step into the tent there, uh, they'll get a little bit of your blood, and we'll get you get you an amulet <laughs> of the cult of madness. Okay. Cult of madness. And, uh, I'm doing this for us. <laughs> and then you will see, and he kind of points to a. Uh, a different tiefling. This is a lady, lady tiefling. You'll see her, and she'll assign you a uh, your first task for the cult of madness. Okay, that sounds yes. good. Um, now, because you are familiar with us and you, you know of our exploits, obviously, is there any way we can get, we could be like a, a higher rank than just you know foot soldier starting out? You know, no. We don't show favoritism here. We, we, Especially we, since we killed them. We're pretty high up. We're, you know, uh, we murdered you, you may, people in you, their clan. <laughs> this is, consider this a uh, clean slate for now. We'll see how you do. If you do well, then perhaps advancement is in order. Okay. <clears throat> but until that has transpired, we can't trust anyone who has joined us at the first until you've proven yourself. Gotcha. I do have some questions, though. Okay. Um, Ask away. Now, like I said, I agree with most of what she said, you know, about the guild and, and how they're you know, letting things run rampant and, yes. and doing it to obviously make a profit or for their, their own agenda. Mm-hmm. Um, but she mentioned something about a power coming. Yes. Uh, what kind of power is that? Like what? What? What's coming? Chaos. Chaos. Okay. Uh, is chaos a good thing? I mean, if we're trying to kill, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was like on his shoulder, I just faintly hear them like, dumbass. <laughs> if we're if we're trying to, you know, rid the land of monsters and whatnot, why would we, why would we want chaos? Is the chaos per se 
Is it a good chaos? <laughs> well, it's so chaos. Chaos is the opposite of peace. And excellent. Is it a metaphor? <laughs> like the <first>. guild, <laughs> there is too much order, and in order to combat that, there must be the introduction of more chaos to maintain or create balance. Yeah. So there's too much order. Yes. And we need to balance it out. With some chaos. Mm. Just some. Just the tip. <laughs> Just <laughs> the <back>. tip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's terrible. Okay, any questions, Krishna? No, no, no. Are we good? I wish we could somehow fake this blood test. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> I didn't smoke some rum and red before I come here. <laughs> I don't know what the blood test is going to do, but... All right. Uh, they're going to turn us That's on. a question you could ask. What's, so what's the blood test? Yeah, yeah. Let's... Well, uh, the blood is for our... Call it quality control. Um, in the event of betrayal... There are many useful things you can do with someone's blood. Yeah, that's what's up here. Yeah, well, we're gonna be fucking zombies. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like the sound of that. It just sounds like the guild. All over. What about that? You know, you're you're find another way to control me. Certainly not. Ooh. <laughs> She's talking shit. So. <laughs> Double cups. <laughs> You're a lady's dress. <laughs> Certainly not. This is not direct control. Yeah, but how, do I, how do I know that you won't use that in some other event? Not, not just like say betrayal. Should you leave our group prior to any sort of betrayal, your blood is returned. Okay, so I just get it back and I leave. Like if yes. for some reason I don't agree with your policies, now I don't need mm-hmm. to leave again. <laughs> Of course. Insight. That sounds pretty true. <laughs> yeah, I do, I, would, I do want to make sure he's not lying. You can certainly do that. Yeah, Chris, cool. so you should also do that because I'm very terrible with insight. So he's going to be like, okay, here's my blood. <laughs> he just cuts his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts his hand off. There you go. go. Take it off. 14. Fuck off. 14. Yeah. Uh, he seems to be. Pretty legit. Pretty legit. And it's in. Fuck, fuck them. We're, we're better ass. Let's do it. Yeah. Let, let, let them do their blood voodoo. I mean, if they kill me, that's how we get a wizard. Yeah. How do, how do they yeah, even store this? Wizard. All we have to do is break into the storage area. Yeah, yeah we'll still take all the blood. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. We're burning. Take all the blood. <laughs> Just burn the blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Take all the phylacteries. That's. You mix it all together. <laughs> yeah, mix it up. Mix it up. <laughs> I yeah. changed the label. Put down the post. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. We're, we're good. That's a very interesting idea. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, we'll go into the, the tent. We'll do Blood, Blood Brothers. Brothers. And, yeah. So you head into the tent, and they have a series of these sort of amulets that have. It looks like. A gold coin on the end, and it has the sort of symbol of Cult of Manasai. We're watching them, right? <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I'm doing my best to like see what they're doing, okay. listen in, not be noticed, and not have uh, the professor anywhere obvious, like he's trying to pay attention right. to them. I got you. I'm straight uh, up watching them 12 inches hiding behind. Your, but your, you're you're sitting on yeah, me. I'm, I'm just watching. Yeah. So I see yeah. them go into this tent. You, you got bullet eyes on that. And yeah. if I see him going to the tent, try to get the owl to perch nearby to listen. Mm. Uh, Let's just kill all our friends when we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Let's just kill them. We'll go, go around and <laughs> kill anti pals. You're going to kill us. <laughs> sort of maybe mingle with the crowd a little bit. With the guild, they're evil. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Keep, keep an eye out <laughs> on what else. they're doing. That's how you still yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got you. But stay in the distance not right. to really get in. Yeah, so you step through the tent. So and there are blood a series. Trick. There are a series of uh, <laughs> like stations within there. You go to one that's currently unoccupied, and they have again. They have the like a, a box full of these medallions, amulet medallion things. 
Are they magic things? They are, indeed. Do they give me cool stuff? Let me see. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of them. <laughs> yeah, so, the sort of attendant is a human. It's a human male. Nothing, nothing really crazy, like, obvious about them. Uh, there's a bit of a light uh, five o'clock shadow type of beard, brown hair, you know, brown eyes. It's just like a generic human looking person. Okay. Um, he draws a very small, it almost looks like a belt knife. Like it's a tiny, tiny knife. And he says, I just have to uh, prick your finger and we'll get some blood and he, he, he kind of takes a vial and pricks your finger fills the vial up with blood puts like grabs one of the amulets blood heals before you takes <laughs> takes one of the amulets um, puts like a drop onto the amulet and the drop that lands on the amulet you can see like he drops it into the eye symbol and it sort of disappears into the amulet and says, this is, this is your amulet. Um, we can, this is how we kind of uh, communicate, communicate um, make sure that you're not, uh, you know, betraying us. Cool. Now, this, does it have like a microphone? Are you like listening to me through the ambulance? You want to put on the crapper? <laughs> 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 It doesn't quite work that way, no. but maybe let's just keywords like president or bomb or something. <laughs> <laughs> President's dropping a bomb. It's more <laughs> location oriented. Okay. Oh. Mm. Once you join us, you're not to associate with the guild anymore. Okay. Uh, at least as minimally as possible. Okay. Because because they're everywhere. You know, because half your career is still in the guild. If, <laughs> if you are, uh, if you find yourself in a major guild hall, we will assume that you have been captured, and we'll take appropriate measures. Okay. Okay. I've died like twice already. I'm on. I'm good to go. Trauma <laughs> fire. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, we hope you don't die again. Because we need all the people we can get. Now, say I have business and I have to go to the guild hall for that business. Is there a way I can contact you to let you know I'm going there? You know, for information or for. Ah, Something. yes. Um, some people will actually be tasked with going to the guild uh, for various reasons, of course. Um, we understand that most of the magical item dealers and the like are guild-oriented, at least. Yeah. So we know that there, there must be some interaction. Uh, so... It is, uh, you can send us a message magically or via the mail system. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so long as we know beforehand that you are doing this. Got it. Uh, yes. Cool. All right. Well, is this able to do anything cool for me or is it just for you guys? Um, what's well, primarily for us for my for monitoring type purposes, uh, but it does have some properties. Cool. It, oh. it will give you. Caw, caw. <laughs> it'll give you plus one to. Uh, do you have an amulet of protection already? No. Okay. It'll give you plus one to your uh, armor class. Uh-oh. 
and saving throws. Oh, Did screw I you guys. You're giving that yeah. your uh, <laughs> AC 24 paladin? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 22. You, yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Uh, Krishna, you get essentially the same treatment, same spiel. Nice. Uh, do you have any questions about that at all? You guys should have cut off the finger for somebody. Yeah. Cut my finger. By the way, <laughs> when they put, like, once they draw the blood and put it on the hammer and everything, and they and, and they put the vial away, it doesn't actually seem to be labeled at that very moment. Maybe mm. they label it later. Mm. Uh, or, or. Um, they have some other ways of doing magical that. means, okay. but yeah, no. I can take the table it off, right? Like it's not like glued to my neck, is it? Is that a question you ask? Uh, yeah, I'm like. So <laughs> it, it it isn't magically like stuck upon you. But the removal of the amulet is assumed to be, uh, like, for not good reasons. What if we got to take a shower? You expect me to shower in this thing? <laughs> I don't want to yeah. rust. <laughs> okay. It's magical. It's not going to rust. It almost looks like shit. What if someone like takes it off my neck while I'm walking down the street? What if it turns it's skin run, run, like ride the horse past me and steal my amulet. <laughs> Then we'll take appropriate actions. Like kill me? Because that sounds a little not necessarily extreme. <laughs> <laughs> kill me for getting robbed. There are many different circumstances whereby you could misplace or otherwise have your amulet removed. Okay. So it's it's not it's investigated. Cool. So you would be likely contacted by a different group of our members. To figure out why it was removed. Cool. Yep. All right. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll move on then. What's our first task? Uh, well, let's sidestep over here first away uh, to Clank and Corvus. What? Uh... Uh, sorry. No worries. Can I roll to see if I hear everything that they just? You're not anywhere close to the town now. They don't. They don't. He's got robot ears. Yes, he does. <laughs> and he not hear, relevant. Have, doesn't have super <laughs> hearing. Does not have super hearing. No, my channel. You have. You can possibly talk to. Uh, talk to them. Um, but do we notice... That'll be after the fact. I want to see the group of people that, um, are not in the line. The mm -hmm. ones that maybe are looking like they're about to leave. Okay. I want to talk to them and find out if they, I don't know, other than this place, is, they're called the Cult of Madness, uh, what else they may have, you know, discouraged them from joining. Like, why do they go there and why are they leaving? So, the majority of the answers that you get, I won't make you roll anything for this, because there's a lot of people, and you'll get something from someone. Um, most of what you hear is that they just wanted to hear them out, because they were fairly nice about it. Yeah. You know, just to, just to hear them out. And uh, for many of these guys, I mean, the guild is their employer, uh -huh. like, this is where they make all their money, it's where they get access to everything, oh, really. It's the only access uh, point. And so, it's it's not worth it to them uh -huh. to, to go directly against the guild. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's a big part of it anyway. Do I notice uh, any type of blood Green. movement? Like, movement? like for instance, this tent can't be storing all these people's blood. The this blood is it being taken somewhere else? No, they have extra extra dimensional containers. Oh yeah, okay. Because those exist. 
Yep. <laughs> those kind of things could lead it right to somebody in particular's pocket. Yep. Okay. Or to some special chest in someone's house or whatever. Like that. Yeah. It's a lot of places that could be. Doesn't have to just be, just be the inside of that person's bag. That's right. true. <clears throat> um, obviously, Clank doesn't have blood in the in the give, so you conventional kind of sense. Just joined. Uh, you do have. I mean, you do have other sorts of robotic oriented fluids like oil and the like that, would that work could though? be used <laughs> where did that work though uh, not in the perhaps not in the same way exactly but you're actually largely powered by the that thing the, the luck stone yeah. thing that's in you uh, which is which gives you your sweet ass powers your whole class yeah but they don't know that yeah, they don't. No one knows about any of that. The power source of an artifice varies from artifice to artifice. It, it depends on who makes them and, and how they're how made. they're made and all that stuff. So uh, they can they would have some means of doing a similar thing, but it wouldn't be obviously it wouldn't be blood oriented. What are you thinking, Eli? I don't like this. I don't want to be here. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be here. I, Corvus is very uncomfortable and feels like he will be made at any moment. Uh, many things about him, just looking over him from the right person and the right insight check, they could tell I'm not going to be for them. Yeah, I gotcha. Um... <clears throat> There, there's so many people still. Like mil- yeah, like and that's why I was saying around that it's it's not. It was a big crowd, so that I'm not have any reason to leave at this yeah. point. So just Quetzal and Krishna have joined up officially. Joined up. Okay. Your task. Your first task. All right. Oh. Let's see. What innocent person are you killing? <laughs> you know, they kill monsters. Monsters and bad guys. Uh, we know they've been killing monsters and bad and like evil stuff. Mm. Like that's all. That's what they've been doing. But it's to offset the balance of the veil. So it's uh, a good thing, but for a bad reason. We're gonna take everything. Let's see. Let's cult. see. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna make it. You know. The Avenger, what the Avengers Guild should have been. <laughs> do, 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 Say it. You're gonna make the Avengers Guild great again. <laughs> <laughs> make our team great again. <laughs> you don't have to add an extra G to it. It's still been longer. Being a quick look, because this is kind of on the fly. Uh, at this point. <laughs> Mom, I'm not playing for you guys to join the cult. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think they'd be idiot fool enough. I still think we made the right decision. I think so too. All they need is two infiltrators and the rest of them still good to make sure we don't really go mad. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you guys are kind of mad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are acting a little crazy. <laughs> okay. The cult of madness made me do it. The cult you, of madness made me do it. They made you eat 13 chimichangas <laughs> and drink. That's what we need. Let's see, where is that going to be, I wonder? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Give me just a quick second. Get that loaded up. Wait a second. The sexy badges are guild houses, aren't they? Yep. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Shit. It's okay, yes. you can stay outside. Who pop this through? Are there other 
such establishments that aren't really There's good. There's another rock. Oh, yeah. Okay, then we're fine. We're fine. Right. For sure. <laughs> you can go to the Cult of Madness like the four houses. <laughs> well, the kinky girls are. to be rich. This will be right there. Seventh level. Ganderous. Cinefeld. Okay. Can't do anything about that amulet until I can cast a seventh level spell. Sequester. Wow. Yeah, there's. that's the first time you're able to stop a scrying something. Well, we can just drop it in a volcano. Well, there's that. <laughs> oh, it takes three movies. <laughs> but, um, All right. There is a... Uh, make sure I have that right. Yeah. In the center of this continent <clears throat> is a lake. Lake Havila, H A V I L A H. Adjacent to this lake is a fishing village called Koha. K O H A T H. Is that the smaller one? It's a smallish one, yeah. I think Chaos did some. Yes, they did. Yeah, that was that town. Cool. That was that town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's like five or Those, seven hurt babies there. Where where they killed Aquaman. Uh, Aquaman. No. Or, <laughs> yeah, we, we killed Aquaman. Herc did specifically, and Very funny. Herc yeah. uh, impregnated at least five yeah, women. It was that was a shenanigans. So there's a bunch of half um, babies in that town now. <laughs> Awful. I will actually take that into account. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> for, like, this is at one exact age. Well, this is, this is 100 years later. Oh, so is it? There, okay. there will probably be some still. But, but there'll, there'll be there'll a few be. more half than there was before. Yeah. Uh, people have gone missing near this area. We have discovered that it is the result of a dark treant Ooh. that has problematic. been uh, masquerading as a tree, and then when people get close enough, killing them. Yeah. Oh, we can stay within our alignment. Uh, normally, treants are good and nice. And they don't tend to kill people. Something has affected this one. And it is killing people. We want that stopped. So that will be your first task. Excellent. Okay. I like killing shit. I do too. You seem sorts for this. Once this is done, of course, uh, probably a few more similar tasks. And then who knows? Maybe you'll we'll find other uses than killing monsters for you. How much does this one pay? Oh, oh yes. Excellent question. 2,500 white drops. True. Let's go do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can take on that motherfucker single-handedly. Now, another thing that you know is that that money, that payment, is probably... Dirty money <laughs> from what was stolen from the vault, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. We recovered some. Man. <laughs> there we go. That's all we were doing. There we go. Hey, we let's do, one do, do it one job at a time. <laughs> oh, so uh, we get it back? Oh no, I mean, ages. It. It's a lot of money. Yeah. That... I completely forgot we were trying to recover the money from stolen from the vault. Do you, do you have any? Uh, any other questions? No, let's go kill him. What's the fastest way to get there? Yep. Uh, teleportation, if you have it. Well, I'm running by donkey. You're fine, so we can uh, get there pretty quick. You can. It's probably the easiest way to go about it is to head back south till you hit the main road, 
and that main road will pass through the mountains and then into the sort of central section and you just stay on that road and it should take you straight there. Cool. Nice one. Sounds like More or less. There are a couple of routes you can take from the road, but yes. All right. That would be your your best shot. All right. Well, hail Satan. Asalaamu <laughs> <laughs> Alaikum. Who is, who is Satan? I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. It's, a, it's an inside joke. I'm sorry. I yeah. see. I see. The well, kids, the kids love him. He's <laughs> <laughs> fun for the whole family. Wow. <laughs> Uh, that's that's terrible. <laughs> uh, she she just is like sure, or whatever. Uh, Do you have any equipment like any extra spare equipment we can have? Like what are you looking for? Uh, potions. Uh, actually, I was just using potions really. Grenades. Let's. Grenades. Okay. <laughs> okay. So C four. Brian Rogers. <laughs> Access to the Cult of Madness. Stock, as it were, from our quartermaster. We'll wait until after you've proven yourself. Okay. Uh, but perhaps, once you do, perhaps you can you, you can access some of these items. Yeah. We have been working diligently toward acquiring items for this purpose. So, uh, maybe if you do it exceptionally well. With this task, there might even be a magic item thrown in. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. This is getting better all the time. All right, I like this place. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. This guy's all right. You guys are all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible if it was like a real call, real life shot of a recruiting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll drink the damage team. Drink the Kool Aid? Yeah. 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 It yeah, sounds really. It's grape flavored. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Grape flavored. Right. <laughs> What's your name called, Mattis? Uh, then you're just you're just misunderstood. Yeah, they, it's, they ain't so bad. That's it's really funny. Um, you get your task, and then you kind of you know, like there's more people waiting for their tasks, uh, and most of them get similar kind of things. Like there's this. You know, X creature is killing people at this location. Go and deal with it. So, we gotta save the people. Um, some of them get, if they're not the super oh. combat sort of types, some of them get tasked with helping with the sort of logistics <laughs> of the Cult of Madness, uh, as far as how, like moving items and stuff like that. Uh, the, the some of the more learned types are tasked with, you know, gathering information, sort of quests and, and the like. Um, oh, we're off some material. Huh? We're off some material. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perhaps later. All right. Cool. Well, we're off to do our task. Yep. We'll okay. get it done uh, immediately. No. Nope. Yep. 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 So you go. We'll say for purposes of timing uh, and saving time that you reunite with Clank and Corvus. Excellent. And you sort of leave this clearing. Uh, by the way, it's a little over until that fire died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, Sorry, dude. Yeah. The hinge, He's gonna be like, what the fuck, guys? The hinge of, of the ancients feels, <laughs> feels like. I told you. It feels like the source of the power of this forest. Like it's almost thrumming. Can as I as do a little bit around. of an arcana investigation while I'm here? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. uh, Is that right? Yeah. Uh, so, 15. 15, okay. So you're. Oh, it's not right. I took the laptop. Just go. Oh, yeah. Go play Sims. <laughs> That's fifteen. So you are, as a follower of Avon. Yeah. You're of course intimately familiar with like, the veil and the balance and how all that has to be maintained. Uh, this forest 
through some. Oh no, it's it's nineteen. I have nice. a plus four now. I forgot I got that headband of intel intellect thing. Very good. Uh, through some means or otherwise, uh, this force seems to have been created to assist with that balance, because the bigger the creatures and plants and such, the more of that veil energy, the more of the veil energy is sort of pulled. Mm-hmm. So it's a it's a counterbalance to death. Yeah. You are also of a mind that this was likely established by uh, either Gaius himself, the sort of god of life. Yeah. Uh, possibly Telperia, the goddess of like forests. And One of the, the two trees. benevolent yeah. ones. Oh yeah, definitely good. Yeah, like good I, I can tell it's a benevolent yes. force. There's nothing foul about the energy. Yeah, the only thing that is a little bit off is the presence of the like cult of madness people? Yeah, because uh, you can definitely tell, even without magic. Yeah, that some of them are not of the of the good bent. Uh, so you know, you just, it's just that there are definitely some good individuals, good, good adventurers and stuff who yeah kind of joined. Because they kind of agree with the the uh, guild stuff, the guild stuff, and the you know maintaining peace of, around cities and such. But it seems that the, the leadership itself is a little on the sketch side, especially given Clank's ridiculous insight check. That's why we shall replace them. <clears throat> and you begin heading back to the other clearing where the fire giant is chowing down and such. Before you get back there, is there anything you wanted to, to discuss? Because so you don't know a lot about what, what happened inside the tent or no, anything like that. I don't. What did you guys do? <laughs> what did you guys what do? What did you do? <laughs> what the fuck did you Me? do? Me? <laughs> Where did you, you get that amulet from? <laughs> oh, don't worry about this. Like, like it's, it's about this. It's our bling. They are definitely wearing... Magic Can I roll ambulance? to see how full of shit they are? <laughs> Alright. I mean, pretty much is nowhere full of shit. Uh, is, is that inside? 20. What do I got to roll? You don't even bother. It's yeah. a 20. You can't beat that. I don't that. have any... any I have negative 2 charisma. I'm saying, we're natural 20, yeah. you still fail. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, you know that... Uh, you can... It's not just a random trinket. Yeah. That was, that was supplied. I say, I bet you that's a blood, blood. amulet. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no evidence of, of blood. It's no blood on this. Uh, um, I can detect. I can detect evil. Uh, yeah, I don't evil. like this. But, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're all in a cult now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're yeah, go, only, go, only, what do you want to help? help? The goal. Which is? The Fuhrer. <laughs> you know, the goal. The Fuhrer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is terrible. You know, we're. We want to bring peace to the world. Mm-hmm. You know, with who? Uh, whoever's best qualified to do that. <laughs> Listen, we're going to take care of that. Cult of Madness. We know we know their boobs now. And then we'll take out the adventures. We, we got we got the inside. Wait. Wait. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we will move the way. Not that part, not yet. Wait. Not that part uh, yet. Right. I mean, we're we'll, just gonna we'll, take we'll, out of the Cult of Madness. We're gonna have to ease them into it. Sense motive on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna dismantle the Cult of Madness from the inside. Yep, that's it. Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's our and goal. And stop there. That's yeah, it. we stop there. That's it. That's all we say. <laughs> I, I do the the fry like look. I like squint my eyes at you guys. I'm like, mm. we're definitely not going to destroy the guild and then take over the cult of madness and then take over the world. That's definitely not what we're going to do. <laughs> we don't want to take over. The world. <laughs> uh, but we do want to make the world a better place. Yeah, that's right. So What's wrong with that? So you return while keeping the veil intact. That's right. So we're good people. Yeah. As you protectors of the veil, yeah, exactly. As you make your way back, 
when you arrive, um, they're all sitting around the fire. The, I guess it would be four of them, because Jezebeth is technically there as well. Oh, yeah. We yeah. could send those undead things to go kill them, and hopefully they'll break the blood vials. And we're, 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 yeah. so we're going to get those blood vials. Yeah. <laughs> No. I think we're good. No, we're not. Not. We're just, <laughs> just, just drop them in the water, you know. No, you're well, not. We'll, we'll kill them. By the time we kill them, it won't matter anyway. Yeah, we'll just leave. <laughs> he looks up. <laughs> like, before I stab Donald Coast, like, I resign. <laughs> <laughs> Consider this my resignation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. And sees you, uh, two of you, at least, wearing their... Bling the the bling the amulet. And you look at us. We just shake our head. <laughs> <laughs> the fire giant did it. He says, uh, "So you joined." Yeah, that's all part of our plan. We're good. Why did only half of you join? Well, they're well, not gonna make sure we don't go mad for real. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, there's there's every way they're gonna see through me. Checks and balances. I see. I can't agree to this stuff. So what is your plan? I'm not a idiot. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Over my plus one amulet. I pull out my. Well, I think I have one. Yeah, I have a ring of protection. There you go. I'm like, there you go. I think it's gonna be a plus one AC. And saving throws too. So yeah. I can't hear you over my future. I, it's on my middle finger. I say I got one too. <laughs> Uh, well, we, we, we're, we're, you know, infiltrating the yep. cult. Gather an info. We're going to take care of... So you're going to do some missions for them? That's yes. right. I see. Not enough to, you know, for us to upset the balance. Yeah, I don't put any children or anything. Yeah. Yeah. We'll I don't think that they would ever do that anyway, mm-hmm. as far as... Their goal is to fly as under the radar as they can. So we can stay right in there. Um, because yeah, in the hood. pissing off the guild is essentially a death sentence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So long as there is no reason for the guild to take action, it tends to not. Right. Uh, What's that old TV show where it's like one's messy and the other guy's like they're like roommates? One's messy, the other one's clean. Odd couple, Drake and Josh. Bert and Ernie. <laughs> no, it's an older one. It's before all that. I'll, I'll find it. It's like Odd Couple or something. Pete and Pete. No. Oh God. Oh, Pete and Pete. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's a throwback, right yeah. there. <clears> this <throat> super far throwback. Wasn't there a third one, Super Pete? Who was the guy? I don't know. I never, I never got into that show much. It was weird. It's it too weird for me. <clears throat> Legends of the Hidden Temple. Gumby. 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 <laughs> Everything's Play-Doh. <laughs> <laughs> that first episode was creepy. The whole um, show is creepy. Uh, yeah. Because um, they could, like, break apart. And you could, like, split into, like, multiple sections of them. Well, yeah, they, they, they did show things where he was just, like, turn into clay and turn into something completely different. Just, I didn't realize know. that show was as old as it was. Now, it's old. some of the old, like original Gumby toys, it's as old as my mom is. Oh yeah, just because yeah. of their rarity. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> <laughs> Gumby, what? Enemy Treons? What? Yeah, I've got a T-shirt. It says, uh, "Kicking it butt naked since 1957." Wow, with Gumby. Yeah, and it's got it's Gumby crazy. laying on his. Yeah, they side must have been shit themselves when they figured that out. The Gumby moving over camera. We're gonna make millions. <laughs> We're gonna make thousands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't disagree inherently with this plan, although it does have uh, it's very high risk. High risk, uh, high reward. But if you can get in, truly get in to the upper management, it may be possible to disrupt <clears throat> their plans from within. Mm-hmm. I agree. Two pronged attack. The uh, the fire giant kind of gets up from from what he was kind of eating. So we're not doing this plan then. Oh, not good for it. And 
Oh no, go for it. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Amir's, just, like, do, do it. Amir Amir says Less competition for us. Not for now. Yeah. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna hold off on this probably. It, it would oh, actually, definitely. If, if, if we're on the inside and they see the undead from the outside and there's chaos going on out there, all their guards are drawn off and we're we're in there with the motherfuckers. So. I mean, it would benefit us to do the your plan yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less competition rising in the ranks. Yeah. It's, it's that. Yes, uh, and that's something that we're still going to have <clears throat> as a backup, and may even be something that we could do. When it's called for, because this is not going to be a short process. If you're trying to truly you know, infiltrate to destroy it from within, yeah. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to gain trust. It's a very easy thing to break trust. Yeah. So. Kind of like you do with the guild. We'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> the guild told us to take care of them in any way possible. That's right. They sure did. Yeah. We're heroes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I could quote something from Star Wars right now. We're heroes. You were sitting there to destroy them, not join them. We're supposed to bring balance to the force. <laughs> I'm I, I assume that those the those medallions that you have uh, have some sort of purpose to them. For their end, not yeah. just yeah, for you. Yeah, to make sure we don't we don't betray them. Uh, basically, it's a great. If they see us at like the adventurer guild or something. Help that us, it's, it's location based is yeah. what they told you. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Uh, yeah, I'm a master of espionage. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. used to this stuff. Dangerous. What's all danger happen? <laughs> <laughs> No, well, it's a good thing when I have to put some danger. Yeah. Alright, I'm writing yeah. that in. <laughs> nice. That does fit your yeah. personality. <laughs> so, also, is Quintal hilarious. Danger Traitor. Like, I'm not a traitor. I haven't done anything against the guild. That's right. Yeah. So join the I'm enemy. doing what they told us to do. <laughs> I don't understand what your problem is, Clank. <laughs> Goddamn robots. <laughs> I can't wait till the next time we're around a bunch of destruction to buy them. I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> you see the hellfire? <laughs> I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> no, we're going to stop them before they do anything crazy. All they've been doing so far is killing monsters. That's it. So far. So far. I... Harriet, Harriet brings up the point to you that, you know... This is potentially a good plan to figure out where the money is hidden yeah. and stored away to possibly track down and get it. Glass half full. Uh, optimistic Harriet is optimistic. <laughs> Thank you, Harriet. Thank you for supporting yeah, us. Yeah, the only one. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Amiris does voice. Kane would have joined know, if he was with like, us. Yeah, yeah. No, he would not. No, have. he would have. Yeah. He would have Fuck infiltrated. No, have. no, Kane would not have. He would have probably attacked Domico's on sight. Um, yeah, Kane's got more restraint than that, especially for the for the gold. No, he healed. could have killed Domico's and disappeared mm. very easily. Yeah, but that, that assuming like, Domico's isn't super high level, he could have like one or two hit him. I, see, and I, I think Kane vanished. put the, the the needs of the guild before the, his, his own needs. No nope. long game here. No, he he's all about the long game, but he's not gonna give his blood up. Yeah, because he understands like that's a hard that. no. He understands his location and his security is paramount. Yeah, you guys and just compromise the whole group. All uh, we do is just don't go into the guild house. It's, it's yeah. simple. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> We will I see how yeah, that plays. I cannot wait because it's like, gonna be Oh, well, we saw you guys going this way, and uh, we set an ambush. Now, you know, going separately is feasible. Yeah. As far as no, this is feasible, and it's only two members of a big party, so it's feasible. We'll but split this the group. Is really yeah. risky. <laughs> we'll yeah. S- we'll make no, it just means, invisible all yeah, the time. Hey, yeah. You guys either walk like really far in front of us, yeah. or really far behind <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. Well, I'm on a donkey, so he can catch up fast. <laughs> That's true. You mean your your chocobo? Yep. 
That can fly. I like it being a chocobo. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Really is badass. it a chocobo or is it a donkey? Uh, is it a donkey it that you call chocobo? Chocobo. chocobo? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a chocobo that you call donkey. It's a chocobo yeah. named yep. donkey. That's right. Yep. I like it. That's good. <laughs> Which is hilarious. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, took a racing. I need to beat that uh, fifteen. <laughs> really? Yeah. I never. I, I made it to the part where you are about to get your car back. I'm at the very end of fifteen. I still haven't beaten. You <laughs> should beat it chapter. and then keep playing because, uh, like, as soon as you beat it, Dude. you can do a lot more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like get a car that flies. Mm. I need to do it. And a new game plus, you just wreck. Oh yeah, new game plus is it's great. Amazing. I have this big nasty. I haven't played it in a long time. Tutorial. I'm on my fourth playthrough, so there's wow. that. Jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the next. Well, like four my first playthrough. Like first playthrough was like 100. percent Second playthrough was a mad rush to gain levels. Third playthrough, I almost got 100. percent Now fourth playthrough, I'm. You're doing the dungeons, aren't right? Oh yeah, no, the like all the big nasty dungeons. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just now 103 or 104, getting past level 100s. Very difficult. You yeah. can get up to level 120 now, but every level past 100 is absurd. just absurd. Massive Very amounts of experience absurd. points. Yeah, you just need stupid. Like I have to go clear all the giant dungeons, the extreme level end game dungeons, and then I can level up once if I were to do all of that. And do the like times 30 experience. Then. Oh yeah, and go to the times three experience hotel, uh, but which I don't remember. That's the one in the fancy city. Oh, yeah. I, the one that's long. very much like Venice. It's been way too long. Um, so, you have a decided path, a, a plan. I think you guys don't trust me, but at least trust Krishna. Right? You have you have a <laughs> task. I'm a wild card, but Krishna's <laughs> usually pretty sane. <laughs> have what? Which We have a task, which is to kill a dark oh. treant. Yep. Which... We will sort of assume is discussed as the group, unless you want to actually talk about it uh, in character, which would make sense either. I mean, either way, it's fine. I mean, um, you are, I feel like you would explain it, and we go Pretty simple. do it. I mean, that's very fitting to the plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get killed, treating guys. Yeah, it's gonna burn them down. All right. Well, I'm gonna breathe on them. Uh, where are we on the map, and where is that? So, what are we looking at? I, I was just thinking to my head. I, oh. I, I know that there's <laughs> like, like... For some reason, I keep the, looking for the map, the too. The three sections. <laughs> I mean, I, I have, it, it used I have to be a that big way. map. Yeah, because it was your house. We had the map. Yeah, it used to be that um, way. And I might put it up again somewhere. But You need to frame it. I do. It is... Okay. Or get it printed professionally. So right now, you are on... You're close to the East Coast. In the forest. The Northern Forest. Mm-hmm. Um, Sartac, oh, Sartac City to the south. So we're north of Sartac City in that forest. Yes. That city is a long way away. Then is it? Is it before it, the desert? It's after. On the other side of the desert. Okay. It's in sort of plains area. Yeah. Right there in the middle. Um, so. So we'd have to cross where, like a mountain range. From where you are. It is. Um, Probably a month and a half travel. It's not quite that much. I would say it's probably about 20, 20 days ish travel. Okay. Um, just like on mounts with a wagon, kind of a thing. Like normal traveling pace. It, right. If you if if you're just on mounts, it would be a little bit faster. Yeah. Because you not. can hit full gallop kind of mode. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's pretty far off. Um, you are waiting on stuff to be dragon done. Dragon leather armor to be done where? Done in Sartak City. Okay. Uh, in about a month's time. So Something I feel like I it's should 40 do. Forty days, by the way. A month is forty days. I feel like we should pass back through Sartak City because I Corvus wasn't part <laughs> of the party. Whenever we were in Sartek City last, I think it was it was a very um, or a brief. It was a very brief time, like because we teleported. Because you there. teleported there with the intention of going essentially straight, almost straight there. Yeah. To the hinge, mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah. There was some minor conversations about getting some items crafted, like the the armor. Uh, I, I, I'll have to go back and look at my notes. I don't remember if there's anything else that was set up to be crafted. I think that was it. Well, that's what I wanted to fix, was uh, I wanted Corvus to go out of the college. and We can theoretically backtrack that a little bit. I don't know if it's a pro... We, we can just do it as going forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, because you... Again, the best way to get to Kohath is going to be from the main roads. Yeah, staying on main roads is a very good idea. So we should go back Ready. through Sartak City. Heading heading south, which you can hit up Sartak City again. Uh, and then... Well, um, I the reason I say that is I wanted to contact my father to see who the best person to commission some... Uh, Two unique things of magicalness. Okay. Um, um, first, a ring or charm of some sort of uh, based off of a particular spell, which is a seventh level spell, sequester. Oh goodness. That's the one that stops things from being able to scry upon you. Okay. Um, the spell would be 7th level, 1 action casting with 5,000 gold worth of gems, uh, and it lasts until dispelled. It lasts until dispelled. Okay. Yes. Can I just put like, my amulet around the dog or something? <laughs> you can now that spell <laughs> makes <laughs> a yeah, <laughs> small mangy dog that makes a particular willing creature or object invisible and not detectable by divination by any means so that's the spell to like make one person uh, that it costs 5,000 mm. and uh, seventh cast level it once yeah to cast it on one person. For, and it would last on that one person until dispelled, but... I gotcha. So you're looking uh, for a ring that does a similar... But thing. something... Yeah, yeah, it would be a ring that does something similar, just... Like a ring of non-detection. Yes, precisely. Which I think actually exists. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, in the DMG. Okay. I think oh. it's actually a thing. And then the other one is uh, some type of earrings that could communicate kind of Oh, up. yes. Those thingies, because... Corvus would have seen those before. He's been around magic his whole life. Okay. Yes, actually... Um, unless uh, you want to keep those out of this campaign completely. So... I think that those are very handy things. Um, and there are different... Because of their usefulness, as yeah. like sort of walkie-talkie type things, mm -hmm. there are different Degrees. powers. Like, yeah different strengths of them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sort of short range would be much cheaper than very long range. Yeah. So it depends on what you're wanting. Uh, I would probably go with a similar range as the spell message, like 60 or 120 feet. Okay. Uh, that would be like a common... Yeah, that would be, That'd be more a fairly common. common and that, that's I, right now. I just want to get something in our hands. So you're looking at <clears throat> probably a hundred white draka per earring. Per earring, as far as like the common short range walkie talkie sort of thing. And you do have to speak when you use it. It's not telepathic. Okay. There are more expensive telepathic ones. And there are more expensive ones that have, like, if you want to spend, you know, 5,000 white draka per earring, it can be, as long as you're on the same plane. How many things can you have a two? Three. Three. Okay. Mm. I'm going to rob somebody. I don't see ring of non-texture. Google up. Your guys, uh, the Call of Madness. Or the Call of Madness would drop someone. That's right. Yeah. Right? That's what they're about. They made us do it. No, yep. not. 
Shut up, Bob! Shut up, Bob! We're not around telling people that, though. Other than Kane's dad. We're not telling people that. That's hilarious. I think you think they called him Madness as evil. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. Cult of Madness is just a, it's a metaphor, see? Yeah. It's, it's ironic. Yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, okay, so this is actually, I think, a good place for us to stop for now. Oh. Uh, might adjust that note. Non-detection it's a level 3 spell. It costs 25 gold points yeah. to do just block divination magic on a target. Yeah, that, that's a ring that actually exists. Okay, so I... What's it? It's just called I think it's called a ring of non-detection. It's not... Clank, I'll sit this one out. Uh, <laughs> what is it, D&G? Hang on. I, we will end it in just a minute after I figure this out. I know... I know it's a thing. Like, I don't trust my friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm just woke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're the woke. Yeah. Maybe you're still asleep. That's right, sheeple. <laughs> Wake up. Do your research, sheeple. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's uh, publishing that book. Pull out all of my shit. 35 of my dice, just throw yeah. one dice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got all these new dice. So yeah, no, that is. Yeah, that's definitely. You gotta explain them. Too. Yeah. Oh, that, that might be what I was thinking of. Yeah. It, um, I don't see it. Was this one yours, Tommy? So the spell is non detection based okay. off of at $25 or 25 gold of components and uh, yeah. a level 3 spell. Not one I have access to. But um, an item based on that that could have a range of like thirty feet out from the point or something like that, so mm-hmm. that it would affect help the party. Oh, I see. Sort of like the ring they use in Critical Role. Straight from the ring in Critical Role. Okay. Which was so funny because I was immediately thinking. Oh no, that guy was attuned to it. They didn't attune. Yeah. And then they had a big speech. It is an uncommon item called the Amulet of Proof Against Detection and Location. Okay, it's uncommon. While, while wearing... It does require attunement. But and it's yes. just a target, though. It's just the person. While wearing this amulet, you are hidden from divination magic. You can't be targeted by such magic or perceived through magical So it's sensors. just you, and that's uncommon. So would that be, like, very rare to make it a range? I think. Probably, yeah. And it wouldn't be a super... It depends. It w- I'll 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 figure that. Well, we out. can just each get one, and then like when we don't want them to know our movements, we'll just put it on. But when, like when we want them to know what we're going, we can take it out. The rest of the party should have that on like all the time. Yeah. You two. I feel like having that amulet on you will negate it, or supersede it in some way because they're going to look right at you, but. Well. That's hard to say. Not necessarily. It's hard, but. Non detection is still a problem. Mm. Yeah, no, they're gonna notice. Oh, you're not detectable. Oh, we can't scry. Why can't we scry this person? Let's go investigate. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's you know it's a balancing act. And we with will, uh, with your uh, we'll blood, they out. can definitely find you. Just so you know. We will <laughs> see you all in uh, two weeks because next week is our break, and, and hopefully we'll get back to regular uh, regular games again soon. Just things be crazy. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye. All right. Later.